Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. It says in Hebrews chapter 12, focus on this text, uh, verse 1 and 2, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, uh, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is before us. Uh, we are in a race. Yes, we are in a race. Remember that. Not only the Olympic medalists are in races. We are in a race on a daily basis. And the choices we make, the decisions we make, the consequences that come our way is as a result of us running that race. And guess what? For some individuals, Satan is cheering them on in that race. And for some individuals, God is cheering them on in that race. But listen to the text. Uh, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. In other words, this Bible is filled with individuals who ran the race. Some of them failed and some succeeded. A man like Paul, he succeeded. Uh, individuals like Peter, they succeeded. Uh, people like King Saul, the first king of Israel, he made bad choices. And listen, he did not succeed. So the Bible is filled with witnesses of individuals. Some of them laid aside every weight of sin. Uh, it says also, the sin that so easily beset you, you must lay it aside. You must examine yourself and make a mental note and do a spiritual audit of your life and check out which are the sins that so easily beset you and ask God to help you to stay clear of that so that you can run with patience the race and win it. When you win that race, that crown of righteousness, everlasting life would be given to you. God and Father, thanks ever so much for your goodness towards us. Help us as we read your word to understand that those stories are placed there not to hide the sins of men, but for us to understand the bad choices that some of them made and did not succeed in winning the race. Grant us the strength necessary to run with patience the race and win, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you.